This is a big what if video, right? The earth trails behind the sun in a fashion that holds it in place. Yet we state that the sun pulls the earth close enough to keep it in its formation. And we lack an understanding of why that formation keeps it as a constant current. We know that gravity has a direct pull of the center of the earth in relationship to the way that it's spinning and the way that the electromagnetic activity spears off of the earth itself, creating a field of sorts around the earth to protect it. Yet let's say that we look at the earth less like a planetoid and more like a neuroganglia junction and that the earth itself is actually an axon to a bigger structure within a larger fitting. So say that the universe is more like a body and the construction of the body holds itself together in the effort to have creation maintain its constant. And in areas of the body where the constants aren't necessarily constructed thoroughly, you'll find things like black holes, supernovas, etc., etc. Yet where we sit in our universe, in our particular area, we are being dragged behind the sun, not because the sun has drag upon us or we have an attraction to the sun, because we are actually held together by a super electronic magnetic attraction that is formed not unlike that of the myelin sheath within the nerve cell fibers of our body. So in essence, when the earth feels pain or we do something to the structure of the earth because of its magnetic poles, that repulses from the earth outwards and affects the entire structure of all the planetoid bodies around us and the way that the sun is actually traveling towards its destination. So let us say that the actual driver of the earth is the sun and the sun is attached to a greater mechanism that we're following in order to create a synaptic reflection of where we're going. And so while we're following the sun, we're emitting constant pulse wave patterns from the center of the earth at an electromagnetic frequency that is so low, so very low, that we can't auditorily detect it or detect it with any science because it's not visible to any spectrum. It's visible to a greater spectrum and the tendency for this lowness of our planetoid body itself is what holds the water to the earth itself and creates it to be a living body unlike other bodies in space where they don't necessarily have carbonification. Now, stating that that is an actual occurrence and it's occurring in with us, then anything that we do to the planetoid body that we're on, say detonating a nuclear warhead underground, can change or alter the frequency of the Earth itself and change or alter the relationship of the Sun to the Earth and other planetary bodies and also cause a misconfiguration of the universe. In a sense, a butterfly effect. If that's true, we may be causing a serious problem for the rest of the universe by acting as a atrophication or an atrophying host to the earth, thus killing it with our own sine wave frequency because we're creating our own frequency that overlaps the earth's frequency. And it may end up that we pop ourselves free from the pole of ourselves in the sun if we do not have the appropriate pole to the sun, and if we disturb the balance of our electroharmony enough, there's no reason for the sun to want us. It could repulse us. That'd be a terrible outcome, wouldn't it? Or a great horror movie. The earth is being repulsed by the sun. Slowly, we're slowing down and freezing. The earth's core is shattering. Every day it becomes smaller until the planet slows down and only one side is facing the sun. The rich go to that side and hide themselves away from others, taking with them the children and technology from the other side that's turned into night, where everyone is suffering and dying. Be an interesting movie. Anyways, God bless God. Thoughts, reflections, who are you?